Hello friends. Uh, welcome to the all new video of USML to residency. So this is actually not a you can say any educational kind of a video. It's uh, a video about my books, the books I have published. Uh, so many people are having trouble finding the book, and so I thought I should make a video on that. So. Uh, as you all know, I have published on my Facebook page also. I have published a uh, book, uh, both an ebook and paperback version of uh, my book on clinical electives. Uh, those who want to apply for clinical electives in the United States in the final year of their medical school, they can go through the book and know through uh, know all the procedures. So let me show you from where you can buy the book, and also I will show you a preview of the book so let's see so right now my book is available only on lulu.com and it is going that evaluation process uh, at Amazon and iStore and Nook store so I guess within 10 or maybe 15 days it will be available on iStore and Amazon also so for, for now you will have to buy it from lulu.com so just go to lulu.com uh, ok so as you can see lulu.com as simple as that ok so you can search for my book you can just type clinical experience or clinical electives and click on go hmm. so here we are okay as you can see uh, this first one is the book I have published US clinical electives A to Z paperback version is a bit costly it costs right now I am giving a discount of 15% uh, the cost is high because I have been given a minimum cost of $23 by Lulu as paperback version requires actual paper and uh, actual ink and production cost and everything so uh, I had to keep a minimum of $23 for Lulu guys and uh, rest is my share hardly I think it's not even ten dollars so paperwork ver paperback version is a little costly but uh, uh, the ebook is cheaper much cheaper uh, yeah here you can see the ebook uh, as you can see US clinical electives A to Z volume 1 5.99 and volume 2 5.99 makes a total of around twelve dollars that's much cheaper compared to the paperback version so you can try the ebook version I think everybody has laptops smartphones tablets these days okay uh, I'll just uh, click on one of them uh, this will open up US clinical electives A to Z volume 1 step by step guide to where to, where to and how to apply uh, okay you can just uh, click on uh, yeah buy in this format here you can see the button okay it's in epub format okay it will take you to the payment page and you can just, just click on continue to check out and then you can pay via debit card via credit card or via paypal account okay that was how to buy my book uh, there is another book uh, on uh, clinical experience uh, this that is given by applicant guide people you can check out that too uh, it is uh, on uh, clerkships observerships electives and it has 27 pages and uh, it is in markets for now two years I guess uh, and my book is on clinical electives I, I can bet you won't regret buying it it is it has 66 pages only on clinical elect electives and I don't think there is any other book in the market right now that gives 
if that detailed uh, uh, view or outlook on clinical electives in the United States. I have covered every single aspect. You will know, as the name says, A to Z from the beginning till the end. A uh, list of colleges and uh, the procedure to apply, the documents required, how to complete those documents, sample documents, every single thing. I mean, just buy the book and you will know how to apply. You don't have to Google all over the internet and do any, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure you will just love these books. Highly beneficial. Uh, I know you'll just love them. So, uh, that was about the book, how to buy it and all that from lulu.com. Just go to lulu.com, click uh, search for US clinical electives A to Z, and it will show you my books. And then you can just click on the books. And place the order and uh, now I would also like to show you uh, a little bit of preview of my books uh, preview is also available in this paperback version page here it is there you can click on the preview button you can see uh, a preview it will show you the first 12 pages of my book uh, it's loading but uh, just done it out. Okay, it is kind of slow, so I'll just. Okay, it has loaded. Uh, this is the cover. Okay, barcode, preface, declaration. This is the table of contents. As you can see, I have covered uh, every single topic from introduction to frequently asked questions, requirements, medical schools you can apply to, LORs, curriculum vitae, writing a personal statement, total steps, scores. Okay, yeah, the index continues. Health insurance, small practice insurance, step scores, HIPAA, compliance training. That's a big confusion for many people. And medical school transcript. Uh, details and everything. In the end also there's an another chapter uh, which you can read. Uh, not in the index, it is not given. Okay, I will also like to show you some of the contents of my book through the Word document I have. Okay, it's opening up. Okay, here it is. So let's go down. I can't show you the whole book, of course. Uh, uh, because now I am legally bound also not to show the book. Anyhow, okay, it's the introduction, frequently asked questions. Uh, why should we do a clerkship? What's the difference between a clerkship and an elective? Uh, what if I do electives in UK or Canada or any other country? Uh, many other questions. And uh, also, I can show you something more. Like you can see. Okay, I'll just show you. Mm, let's show you which one I should show. I think this LORS topic can be shown okay here it is letter of recommendations for clinical electives um, they are not the same uh, you should not follow these guidelines for residency letter of rec recommendations uh, these are for elective purposes only Dean LOR and uh, here is a sample Dean LOR okay then a faculty LOR and then a sample faculty LOR so I'll just uh, go back to the top it was just a preview uh, so guys I think uh, that is enough to guide you from where you can buy my book and uh, I hope you like it it has everything uh, needed to apply for electives Okay, so that was it, and uh, if you want to stay connected with my videos and updates, do join my Facebook page, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and read on my videos, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button given below, in the left corner. Okay, then uh, I guess it is it, so see you next time.